Hello and welcome back to the guide for Long War of the Chosen. As a part of an effort to increase the quality on my channel, I decided to re-record some of your most requested videos. The video guide here will still be limited to a 10 minute length and will continue to be information packed. And I'll try to do it as a no repetition, no bullshit overview on everything that you need to know about the mod. These newer versions of uh, the guides will cover changes based on the latest version of Long War, which currently is beta number four, and hopefully will address the main concerns that you had with the sound quality and the fluency of the presentation. Let's get to the content, shall we? So this first video guide in the series is going to focus on major changes within the Long War mod. <clears throat> I'm attempting to cover a large amount of these changes and will limit the video to only the major themes of the mod, giving you kind of a general overview of what the mod of Long War of the Chosen is really about. Long War of the Chosen um, is the latest version of the Long War series from Panavis uh, uh, Interactive and has been designed to completely overhaul the XCOM 2 universe. As such, it aims to provide a deeper, more complex and richer and ultimately longer experience in fighting the aliens. This video in particular is going to take a look at all of the changes of the mod and will give you a chance to determine whether Long War of the Chosen is really for you. I'll cover the individual aspects in detailed guides, which you can find in the playlist of uh, this video. And whilst you're at it, if you want to check out my channel where I've done a lot of world's first content, such as beating the game with a single soldier per mission on legendary Iron Man difficulty, or beating exquisite timing on legendary as a world's first, or even if you're interested in long war, feel free to check out my, uh, my channel. So what do the changes of long war really entail? Firstly, let's take a look at the tactical layer and the game changes there. That influences, for instance, all of the soldier classes. Each of the original four classes have been split into two subclasses. The Grenadier, for example, has been split into the Gunner, a heavy cannon only class, and the Long War Grenadier, which is an assault rifle wielding soldier with a grenade launcher. Meanwhile, the Sniper class has been split into the Long War Sniper and the Shinobi, which is more of a melee-oriented stealth class. The Specialist has been split into the Long War Specialist and the Technician. And finally, the Ranger has been split into the Long War Ranger, an Assault Infantry class, and the Long War Assault, a shotgun-based combat flanking specialist. Psy Operatives and Sparks, as well as other hero classes, have seen their fair share of rework. I'll cover each of the classes in their individual guides in the series. Each of the soldiers now gain XP much slower than in the base game, which leads to an overall slower progression and a more meaningful character advancement. Consequently, losing a high-ranking officer will hurt more than in the base game of XCOM 2. On top of these uh, changes in the classes, Long War of the Chosen offers an officer system, which requires uh, some additional training in the GTS, the training can then lead to additional abilities, usually either usable as a free action or a one action cost that further bolster your team. But it requires the soldier to also undergo lengthy officer training beforehand. The mod has a forced decision-making system by only offering one skill per tier. So the training center only nowadays offers small additional random abilities, which in return will make each of the soldiers really unique in their abilities and none of them can cover everything by themselves. Continuous balancing and game testing has led to a more or less balanced uh, system between each of the variable choices. This further encourages uh, by the standard setting of not created equal uh, that Long War is using, which will give each of the soldiers in your roster different starting stats. More of that in the detailed soldiers' videos. The squad size of uh, XCOM has been increased from 4 to 6 as a starting squad and can be further increased up to 10 soldiers in later missions. This offers more strategical depth in the unit placement and makes individual losses, which are very likely to happen within this mod, more stomachable during the missions. In order to offset this increase of power, Long War of the Chosen introduces large pot sizes for enemies and the infiltration mechanic, which is basically a pre-infiltration timing for the missions that forces the player to trade off between speed and smaller teams, as well as less enemies, and an all-out attack on the other hand with more enemies present. 
Long War of the Chosen also follows the logic of its predecessor mods um, that will uh, let you need more soldier. A typical size of a roster in this game is around 100 to 150 soldiers. And with that, the game offers a squad system that really clusters the soldier together in small strike teams for easier access. Secondly, the equipment of Long War of the Chosen has been adjusted. The standard uh, uh, three-tier systems of ballistic, magnetic and plasma weapons have been enriched by two additional tiers. The laser weapons, which slot nicely between the ballistic and magnetic weapons, provide a small damage bonus and a plus hit chance for those who wield them. The coil tier, which deals slightly more damage than the magnetic weapons, um, is between magnetic weapon and plasma weapons and allows the user to ignore one point of armor. Research and building those weapons will take significant longer compared to the base game and building them will not unlock these weapons for the entire squad. So high tier weapons will remain very sparse as you need to individually build them. Long War of the Chosen additionally brings a whole new slate of equipment to the table, much more than I can cover in a short summary. It ranges from an introduction of medkits, smoke uh, grenades and flashbangs as well as smaller sidearms in an unlimited quantity from the very start of the game to diversify the loadouts over the addition of additional equipment slots to make for more customization, all the way to introducing 10 new ammunition types, changes in vests, new heavy armor, and quite substantial changes in the way that explosives work. In short, the mod focuses a lot on modern warfare and tries to give the player meaningful alternatives. Overutilized items like the Mimic Beacon are gone, blue screen rounds are substantially nerfed and less utilized items like vests have made a much more prominent appearance in the mod. These changes do not stop uh, with equipment only, but of course also impact PCs and weapon mods, which have seen a complete overhaul. Thirdly, the rework of the strategic layer of the game. Long War of the Chosen has overhauled the strategic layer in an effort to present a more complex decision making. The main changes towards the layer are introduced in the Resistance Haven, which allows for a more detailed management of the Resistance fighters on the ground. Basic management of uh, the Haven allows you to assign tasks uh, such as uh, having your operatives recruit intel to spot out missions, recruit um, more resistance fighters or gather supplies for XCOM to harvest. The mod comes with a full set of changes towards alien behavior, introducing a more sophisticated system to determine the alien's response to XCOM. The basic assumption behind the mod is that the more noise you make, the more successful uh, you are, the more troops will be sent into the areas to deal with you and defeat you. Long War of the Chosen uses the strengths of the alien units, but it also uses two new variables that you can see. Vigilance on the one hand, which represents the alien's knowledge about your active strength, and uh, the active strengths of uh, the aliens themselves, which determines the pod size and the mission types that you can meet in the area. In line with that logic, you're now free to liberate areas permanently, removing all alien control for them, uh, after successfully finishing a set of pre-generated missions. Gone are the alien facility runs and instead you're finding yourself in a rush to liberate aliens uh, from uh, the areas. The biggest change, however, by far is the introduction of mission types and uh, businesses within the game. If uh, you had the feeling that XCOM 2 was too busy, then multiply that by the factor of 10. The mod had changes the behavior in the background, essentially introducing a concept of dozens and dozens of events that are happening in each area at the same time. Whether you get to know about them or even get a chance to react depends on your availability to gather intel if you have enough resistance personnel working on it in the Haven. But beware, the mod also introduces spice uh, to sabotage you as faces ones will pose as a Haven resistance operative personnel, which will not only not provide benefits to you, but rather trigger negative effects. And Fourthly, some noticeable changes that will alter the base game that you should know about. 
Now, Long War of the Chosen introduces up to 15 different mission types, some of which are very different in their concepts towards the base game of XCOM 2. It helps to understand the mission types first, as their victory parameters might be substantially different to those of the normal Kill Everything from XCOM 2. Additionally, the EVEC mechanic of the game has been completely overhauled. EVEC now has a multiple rounds delay, depending on the size of your squad and will therefore force you to anticipate well in advance when you want to leave. There is more to cover regarding Long War of the Chosen, but once you dive into the mod, you will maybe find that out for yourself. For now, you should be armed with the most important changes. If you are enjoying a highly complex, highly customizable management game, if you like large-scale squad combat, and if you want a more gritty, realistic experience of XCOM 2, the Long War of the Chosen mod might be just a mod for you. This is the first mod review in the series of Long War mods. If you like the review and want to see the other mod um, reviews also overhauled, please like and leave a comment down below. And see you all very soon. Bye-bye.